Hello. Let's get straight into this because this is it. We're doing reviews. And look, I'm doing a torch review. But it's not like you, it's not like you think. Because for the last seven years or however long I've been doing this, I constantly get torch manufacturers, Olight, through Thurnite or whatever, all these torch God, you review a torch review. No, 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 no. I won't. But here I am reviewing my first torch. There we go. The reason I'm reviewing my first torch is because I love it. I think it's brilliant. It's not something that anyone has sent me. I bought it out of my own money to take on the Cape Wrath Trail. And as I'm doing, I'm, I'm going through a lot of the individual items that I took with me on that trail or that I do take on my long distance hikes. The Petzl Bindi. How much does it weigh? Good question. 35 grams, only 35 grams. That's why I got it. It has this elasticated cord. It has reflective material in it as well. Road running and stuff like that makes you easier to spot. And it has this slip toggle. Very easy just to, once you get your thing, you pop it on your head. Pretty easy, you can wear it around your neck and have it pointing wherever you wherever you want. It's so light, uh, you don't even notice it. And it's very bright. It has three white light modes. The first one is this, coming in at six lumens. The second is this, way. And that's coming in at 100 lumens. Oh no, here we go, six lumens, 100 lumens, and that big boy there is 200 of your finest lumens. Thank you very much. It also has, if you hold down the button, whilst the torch is on, it switches to the red mode. Now, and that is because the red mode is a, it's stealthier, and if you're in your tent or on a night, the red light will not mess up your night vision. So the white light, once you turn that back off, it takes a good 20 minutes to get your night vision back, but whereas the red light, that doesn't mess with your night vision, and that's why that's on there. Another very cool thing about this is the ways in which you can lock it, because several times with my other head torches, I've chucked them in the bag, got to camp or whatever it is, and realised that the torch has been on and the battery's flat. So I used to have to take the battery out and spin it around. But with this, there are a couple of different ways to lock it. You hold down the button for four seconds. There. Now that's locked. I'm pressing the button, nothing's happening. The little light will flash red. So you hold it again for another four seconds. Come on, focus. One, two, three, there you go. And then you're back in the game. All looming out of your mind. Also, another way to do it, is there. You could tap four times very quickly, and now see, it's done the same thing. So you can either hold down for four seconds, or one, two, three, four, and then you're back in the game. You can actually lock it analog as well, so you don't need to use the button, because the whole thing, let me get them focus. This is a real, this is a touch, this. Look, the whole thing turns around, so that, there's the on button, there, click. And now th that's protected by this bit of plastic here, and it's not just gonna, yeah, yeah. You can't turn it on when it's in your bag. So you're covered there with options. It's rechargeable through a USB port on the side there. Yeah, all in all, it's brilliant. So lightweight, fits in the palm of your hand. And having these, it's the first time I've uh, not had a proper band on a, on a, on a headlamp. And I'll tell you something you notice as well is because it's such a thin contact with your head, you're not building up a sweat. So if you're if you're running or if you're hiking, or even if you just sat around the campfire and you get you know you don't get that that heat that a band can give you, it's such a, a light you don't even know it's on. And with the, with being able to turn it fully 360, so you can have it. There you go, look, looking straight down. <laughs> Unreal, mate. You can even shine it in your own eyes, can you? No, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't. Right, send it back. 
So that's that, man. It's, uh, I tell you what, as well, it doesn't half kick out some light. That. There. Phew, look at that. Ideal. The perfect lightweight backpacking. If you're going super light, they don't come much more lighter than that, 35 grams. So that's something that I took with me on the Cape Wrath Trail and I'll be taking it on my next, my next big hiking mission. And it's something that I recommend to you. Not been, I've not been paid to say it, I just recommend it to you. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link downstairs for it if you wanna, if you wanna look into it further. If you're interested in seeing a few more bits and pieces that I take with me on, me, on my camps and my long distance hikes, then you can click the subscribe button Hit the bell notification and you'll be notified when I next upload a video. And, and that's it, man. I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. <laughs>